In 2018, 22 states will elect both a senator and a governor. And in our polarized political environment, most states will vote on party lines. But three of those states seem likely to split their tickets. Massachusetts, Maryland, and Vermont. So why is this? Well, much more than for members of Congress, support for some governors can defy a state's partisanship. In the first part of 2018, Republican governors in Democratic-leaning states, Charlie Baker of Massachusetts, Larry Hogan of Maryland, and Phil Scott of Vermont, ranked first, second, and fourth, respectively, in popularity among governors nationally. Although Scott has taken quite a hit in popularity recently and is no longer in the top 10. One possible explanation we have for why these states split their tickets is the elasticity of their voters. Massachusetts and Vermont both rank in the top 10 of elastic states, meaning that they have a lot of swing voters who are willing to cross party lines, even though Massachusetts and Vermont are pretty blue states. In an elastic state like Vermont, issues and the general political environment can matter a lot to a voter. For example, Governor Scott took a hit in his popularity after he signed sweeping gun control legislation in April, which seems now to have lasted into October. It may even hurt his chances at the ballot box in November, though he's still a strong favorite to win re-election. Maryland doesn't have as many elastic voters, but one thing that all these candidates have in common is that they're popular incumbents and look likely to be rewarded for it. The majority of states will still elect a senator and governor from the same party in 2018. But the states that don't aren't necessarily outliers. For governor's races, voters are still often happy to split their tickets. 